Okay, I think we've got this fixed. Is everybody there? Can you hear me? If you enable the Q&A part, you'll be able to leave comments for me and I'll go ahead and get started so we can start talking about this amazing book. Uh, my name is Poppy Dennison and I will be leading our discussion of tonight's Dream Readers book, which is Dirty Kiss by the lovely Reese Ford. So if you um, want to stop by, say a quick hello to Reese. She stopped by and joined, to join us for a few minutes here and then she's going to head off. She's got a deadline that she's got to meet and we want more Reese books. So we definitely want her working on that. So just you guys can leave a comment for Reese. That would be amazing. Watching here to make sure our technical stuff is now repaired. I'm starting to see some comments coming through. That's great. Gonna just watch here for a second and make sure that this is Everything is straightened out now and working. Okay. I think we are good. Let me leave a note up here to let everyone know we're live. We've been waiting on this for a few minutes. We had a few technical difficulties. Okay. Is everyone able to figure this out with me? I'm trying to kind of learn this as I go with you guys. It's the first time we've had an on-air discussion. It's pretty exciting. Um, but just learning the technology has been a bit of a challenge. So I'm hoping that you guys are actually able to both see and hear me. If you want to drop me a little note and let me know in the comments if you can see and hear me okay, um, I would appreciate it. Kind of waiting and watching here just to see if we've got a little bit of a delay. If you're having trouble figuring out how to leave me a comment, you should have a little um, square box up at the top. It has looked like nine dots on it. If you click that, there's a little drop down box that has a Q&A. If you click that Q&A, It'll allow you to leave comments directly for me in the chat window or in the video window uh, versus just on the page. Either way works, but if you do it in the uh, video window, I'll be able to see it a little faster. So that would be great. So, oh yes, Naomi has said that she can hear me. This is a good sign. And uh, wants to know if you guys thought this book was funny as well. Yes, as a matter of fact, I did. Did anyone else? have anything they found particularly funny in this? One of my favorite parts was actually pretty early on um, in the book when Cole actually says that he's as Asian as a bowl of cornflakes. I laughed hysterically at that. I don't know why I saw, thought it was so funny, but just it, that imagery was so vivid to me. I really understood it. Okay, Janet's saying that she can hear me, but she has to pause to comment. Okay, so that might be a little bit of a pain in the rumpus. Uh, just leave me as many comments as you can. That's how I'm going to kind of lead this discussion. Um, and I see Elizabeth North is here from Dream Spinner. Hi, Elizabeth. Thanks for joining us. And Greg is here, who is the narrator of the Dirty Kiss books in their audiobook form. Hi, Greg. It's good to see you. You have an amazing voice. I'm so glad to be able to listen to these books on audio. It's so much fun. Is 
So Greg, can you tell us a little bit what you thought about narrating the series? There were some pretty crazy parts in there. You want to drop us a quick line as to what you thought as you were narrating and trying to not laugh at some of the things that uh, Cole gets up to in this book? Yeah, Greg says in the, on the other page that, that he can't have me and the chat on. Look for that little box at the top. It's going to have this little square box that has some um, like dots on it. There's nine dots. If you hit that, it'll drop down a Q&A portion, and then you're able to leave me um, a comment directly in the window, which might be a little bit easier for you. So, oh, thank you, Jules. That was, she, Jules has just left me a very nice compliment on the... Um, the chat page. I really appreciate it. <laughs> and yes, Greg says that he really enjoyed Bobby and Cole when they found Nico. And uh, <laughs> and yes, Bobby says you are so going to get laid. Yes. And I'm pretty sure he actually did from that. It was, it was, it was a great moment. And I love that Bobby found the cat and wanted to take the credit so that, you know, maybe he could have a chance with Jay. And I don't think that that was ever going to happen. So what did you guys think? Was there anything else in there that really cracked you up? Just going to give you guys a second here. I know there's a little bit of a delay I'm noticing. That's okay. I'll just... Um, kind of go with this and we'll, we'll make it work as we go. Um, oh yes, Janet, Greg, Greg has a question for you. He wants, she wants to know how many times do you have to read the funny bits so you don't laugh while you're narrating them? That's a great question for you there. Um, I can't imagine how many times I would have to read some of those scenes to get through them. Um, particularly that opening scene when when Cole is being chased by the grandma in the in the leather bra, really, that just I don't even know how I can can do that. So, oh yes, and and Naomi says that uh, Claudia is is a hysterical character as well. She's very funny. I love the way she treats Cole. We'll definitely have to have a, a talk about Claudia while we're we're here. Let's see if I can get. Uh, get some other questions here going. I'm figuring this out as we go, so please bear with me. I'm not the most technologically advanced person. You can ask almost anybody, and I know I, I'm pretty excited about this format, though. Um, you know, yes, and Greg says that, that the whole part with Nico and then Bobby volunteering, yes. I that was one of my favorite parts in, the, in that whole series, that scene when uh, Bobby then volunteers is so amazing because you know that Cole is just not going to have any of that. I, I don't think Jay would either. So, Yes, Greg says that the books are amazing and exhausting. I can imagine that they would be. I think that the, um, Reese really has this amazing talent for taking you on a real ride. You know, from the beginning all the way through, you you hit the ground running. I mean, literally, the, the very first thing that happens in the book is Cole running, and and you feel like from that very moment that you're running right along with him. Did you do you guys feel that way as well? Greg has has been able to answer our question about the retakes. He says it doesn't take a huge number of retakes, except for when he stumbles. Um, he says he can step into the world, which that's actually really amazing. I think that it takes um, a real talent to be able to step into something like this and kind of go through and really at, capture the characters. And Greg does that very well. If you guys haven't seen, Greg did um, a set of ringtones for this series for Reese. They are actually over on Dream Spinner's blog. You can see them. They're linked on um, Reese's Facebook as well. If you need the link, we'll grab it for you, put it on the window here, but they're free to download. So you can actually download some ringtones 
from this series. It's it's pretty amazing. So uh, they're they're really good. So if you guys haven't had a chance to check those out, I highly recommend them. So any other questions there that you guys want to throw out at me? I'm kind of watching the the window scroll along here a little bit. Uh, we did have Claudia that was mentioned a little while ago. She's actually one of my favorite characters throughout the series. I always look forward to Claudia and her big giant family being um, on the page. Uh, what do you guys think? Are, are Claudia and, and her clan, uh, um, are, are you guys fans of them as well? kind of waiting on my page to refresh here, guys. It is going a little bit slowly for me. Please bear with me. I'm working on it. It's kind of one of those things you have to figure this stuff out as you go. So yes, Naomi says that she is an East Coast girl. So having this set uh, in LA was a lot of fun. I think that that's actually one of the, the big talents that Reese has. I'd never been to LA before. I actually just had my first visit only a few months ago. And it, it was really just so vivid the way Reese had described it in the series. I felt like I had already been there. Um, I, I really at some point want to beg her to drive me through this, the streets and see actually where she was inspired. And I, I really think that there must be a building that is Cole's building that was in, in her mind. I, I can only imagine that she would do that and, and have that actual building. I'd love to be able to see it and just experience the things that Cole was able to experience. So what did you guys think? Have you guys um, been to LA before? And if you have, did you feel like you were really there? And, and if like me, you weren't, had never been to LA before, what what was your impression on how, how Reese handled that part? Yes, Janet is saying on the, in the, on the page that uh, pace is great in all of Reese's books and you have to finish in one sitting. Absolutely true. I know before I sit down that I'm not going to be able to stop. So I never start them until I know I have several hours because it's, and I don't start them late at night because that's one of those things where you, you stay up extremely late reading a book because you can't put it down. Reese's books do that to me. So I, I can only imagine. I'm sure they do that for you guys as well. And yes, Elizabeth is reminding me again about the ringtones. I've, I did mention that earlier, but if you, if you need that link, just let me know and we will get that put in the, the window here um, so that you guys can can grab those ringtones. They are free that uh, Reese had done for this series. Uh, Greg, who narrated the books, also did the ringtones. And so they're really amazing. And, and if you would like them, we'll get you that link so that you can uh, get those downloaded. Oh, and Naomi, thank you, Naomi. Naomi has added the link for the ringtones um, onto the page. That's great. As Greg says that Claudia and her gang are the are amazing. They are the common sense of Cole and Jay's life, just as Scarlet is the heart. Oh, that's perfect. Yes, we definitely need to to stop um, to talk about uh, Scarlet. What an amazing character. <laughs> Jewel, yes, Jewel says that she's never been to L.A., but if she does ever go, she'll be disappointed if it's not like Reese's books. Absolutely, I, w I was feeling the same way. I think that. Um, she has a way of capturing those neighborhoods that um, it, it's so hard to do, especially when you've never been there. So it's um, it's pretty amazing to see. All right, I'm trying to update myself here. Uh, yes, we have ringtones. Good, good, good. Okay. So. Um, We've talked about the side characters quite a bit. What about Cole and Jay? I think that Jay has this really interesting ability to be a character who is, he has this fragility to him, but he's also so very strong. He has that spine of steel. And I think that's such an interesting contrast to Cole, who has this sort of exterior, like he's so strong, but on the inside, he, he's really fragile. Um, what did you guys think about Cole and Jay and, and how they sort of work together? Um, and what did you think about them, their fragilities and the things that they really struggle through in this book? Yeah, 
Janet is saying in the other window that um, she also ends up staying up all night for these books. I, I could not agree more. Absolutely. And that uh, for those of us who will be attending Gay Romlet in San Diego, um, how many of us will be making side trips to see LA and all of the, these settings that Reese has given to us? I would assume that a lot of us would. Um, it's just kind of going to be kind of amazing to see that world when, you know, I, I've never really gotten to explore out um, on the West Coast. So Reese has really brought that to life for me. It's shown me things that I've never seen before. So it, it's, it's pretty amazing. So it's going to let this refresh for a second here. We do want to do some giveaways here. Um, I'm going to turn on a randomizer here and kind of go through and I'll randomly go down the number of comments um, and that will be our winner. So let me click that really quick here in my other window. So we are going to, we've got some prizes that we're going to be giving away that uh, Reese has left some, some great prizes for us. And we've also had some dream reader swag that we've made up for you guys. So uh, I think for our first giveaway, we will do one of our uh, new dream readers travel mugs. And I'm going to randomly choose the commenter who wins here. Just give me a second. Okay. And that would be Janet. So Janet, if you would send me an email, poppy at dreamspinnerpress.com, we will send you one of our dream readers travel mugs. I'm really glad that you're here. I hope you really enjoy it. It's going to be kind of fun to experience all this with you guys. And uh, it, it's really great to be here. So, yes, Naomi says that Jay is prickly. It's like he's a hedgehog, all prickly on the outside, but soft and vulnerable underneath. Absolutely. I think that's a great way to describe Jay. He is, he is very much um, prickly and doesn't quite know how to handle Cole once he, once he finds him. So it's, Pretty, pretty amazing. Let's see, let me refresh here. Uh, yes, Greg says, Cole is a whirlwind and Jay is a reed. He's the only possible companion because he is neither broken nor particularly, <laughs> nor particularly impressed by Cole's extremes. And uh, Greg has also tragically never been to LA, uh, but he now spends like he spent time there as well. Absolutely. It's it really is one of the, the great things that Reese does in her books is bring these cities to life. And in all of her series, I feel that way. Um, in her Sinner's Gen series, same thing. You know, you just feel like you are in that city with these characters and you're, you're seeing them in ways that you've never, you know, experienced them before. It's, it's pretty amazing. So, okay, Greg has to sign off now. I want to say thank you again, Greg, for joining us. And I really appreciate you being here. He is currently recording Down and Dirty. That's pretty exciting news. And uh, like I said, go grab those ringtones if you have not already. Greg did an amazing job on those as well. So we'll say goodbye to Greg. So, okay. So a few more things I wanted to um, talk about. I really want to talk about that opening scene. It was really one of the best things that I'd read. Um, it's been a while since I've, I've read um, Dirty Kiss. And I actually went and I, I'll, I'll show off a little bit. I actually had got out my paperback and, and read it just for this a bit, just so I could um, hold that book in my hand while I was reading it. And I forgot how funny that opening scene is when um, Cole is being chased and he climbs the fence, but he slips and, oh, you know, right between the legs on the fence post. And, you know, you just, you can't help but just feel that excitement and that energy. Um, were you guys like me and laughing hysterically at that scene? Because I just thought that it was just the funniest thing. And I had, I had such a good time just experiencing that and getting to know Cole and, and watching him getting chased by grandma with a shotgun. So um, any, any other comments on that? I'd love to hear you guys' take on that. Going to give it a second here to refresh. I don't want to like. <laughs> and Jules says paperback for the win. Yes, it's it's one of those things that that goes that normally sits very pretty on the shelf, and I stare at it on occasion. But for this, I had to break out the paperback so I could actually read it. 
Yeah, I, I don't know. Are you guys like that with your, you normally read everything on your Kindle and, and you get the paperbacks of those special books that you really just want to hang on to? Um, I, I tend to do that. But, but since we're talking about paperbacks, I would uh, I'll throw out there that Reese has generously donated a paperback copy of Dirty Kiss to us for tonight. And we can give that away now. Um, I'll do the same thing where I will just go and pick a random number and go down that number of comments and that'll be our winner. So give me just a second to get my random comment number. And counting. Of course it gave me a big number. Okay, and our winner for this one will be Jules Loves Books. Uh, so glad you're here, Jules. Um, if you will shoot me an email at poppy at dreamspinnerpress.com, I will get you your paperback copy of Dirty Kiss. Um, and we'll we'll get that out to you as soon as we can. So, all right, let me get back up here, see what we have. <laughs> yes, Jules says that she loves the random shit Cole gets himself in. Absolutely. Could that man just anything else? I mean, he gets... Let's see if we can figure out everything that happens to him in this book. I mean, um, he gets shot. He gets uh, almost blown up. He gets um, run run off the road by the van. Um, well, obviously chased by the grandma in that opening scene. <laughs> and Naomi says that she knew when Cole was being chased by an obese granny in leather gear that she was in for a totally different read. Absolutely. Um, and Janet, I've just seen your comment. Yes, coffee is my friend as well. My very, very good friend. So really hope you enjoy that travel mug there. So, okay. Just kind of checking in here a little bit. So one of the things that is really interesting about Cole, I think, is that he he's very broken and you know that, but Reese doesn't give away too much about that in this first book. You get hints of it. Um, you find out about the ex. You find out about Ben, his ex-partner. Um, well, I shouldn't say ex. He wasn't his ex. His um, boyfriend, he was murdered. Um, so, and then you find out about Ben, who um, was is his former partner on the police force, who actually tried to kill Cole as well the same time he killed his Cole's boyfriend. So, she really sets up that... Um, mystery well for us and but she doesn't really give us too much so without giving away too many spoilers what did you guys think about the start of that mystery where you know we first get this this hint that there's something more going on with that um knowing that it's going to lead into bigger things for the rest of the books so any thoughts on those Gonna give you guys a minute here. I know it seems to be a little bit of a delay, so I'm just bear with me, guys. I'm trying to get to your comments as they pop up. It is taking a second for them to show up, though. Oh, Janet, I just realized that you had asked me a question there. Yes, um, you did have the um, email address correct. Thank you. Well, while, I'm, while I'm waiting on those comments to load, um, I will uh, do another giveaway here. Reese has not only donated a paperback to us, she's also donated a $50 gift card. So um, I think for the first person who, let's see, let me think of something clever here for the, the giveaway. Um, Maybe the first person who con who comments with, um, hmm, let me think. I'll just flip open the book and look. How about that? I'm trying to think of something that we haven't already talked about. Oh, I'll, oh, I've got a good one. It's a tricky question. What is the name of the club where Star where Scarlet works? There's two answers to that because it has two names. It has both a Korean name. And it has a name translated into English. So the first person who tells me the name of it, um, either one, I suppose. But if you can tell me the name of the club where Scarlet works, um, 
it's for a $50 gift card to the retailer of your choice. So. Yes, Jules says that the, the deaths of Cole's partners, both on the force and off, was so shocking. It really was easy to feel his, his confusion over it, um, his pain and confusion over it. Absolutely. It was, it was very good. <laughs> yes, Janet says, I can't believe we had to wait for six whole books before she cracked and we learned the whole story. Uh, let me move this out of the way a little bit. Um, each book just gives little tastes and more secrets. Absolutely. I don't want to give away too many, any spoilers to anybody who hasn't read the series, but yes, the mystery of the, the entire thing with Ben and, and what happened is something that is an arc that stretches through the entire series. And it's, uh, Reese has really done an amazing job kind of keeping us all like on the edge of our seats, wanting to know what's happened there. Um, it's pretty amazing. So uh, Janet gets it. Janet wins the uh, gift card. The name of the club where Scarlet works is Dirty Kiss, the name of the book. So that great answer, Janet. I'm glad you uh, knew that. Um, I had not actually caught that the first time I read the, the book. And then when I reread it, I was like, oh, wait, that's the title. I you know, should have caught on to that, but a little slow on the uptake sometimes. So... So does anybody have any questions that they'd like to pose to the group, things that you'd like to talk about or question, you know, things you want answered or just discussion points? You can throw those at, out at me. That would be fantastic. We can talk about some things you guys want to talk about. Yes, Jules, you've, you've gotten the name of the, the club. Janet just beat you to it. The, uh, we now have both the uh, English and the Korean names, you know, and forgetting the Korean name of that book, I think we, we're going to have to send you one of our insulated glasses that we have for the Dream Readers. Um, just loving to give away this extra little bit of Dream Reader swag tonight that you can only get by being uh, present in these chats. So it's pretty exciting things. So, yes. And Allison as well, you have answered the, the name as well. Um, select that and put that up there for you. Allison, if you will, and uh, Allison and Jules both, if you will email me at Poppy at dreamspinnerpress.com. We will send you both a uh, an in, one of that our, well, excuse me one of our insulated glasses for the dream readers. So, so any questions that you guys want to uh, talk about here? I know that we we've, we've kind of covered our characters and our settings and a lot of our side characters. Is there anything that you would like to talk? We have uh, about eight more minutes here where we can. Go. We'll also, this chat will continue on the uh, page. We won't be closing this event page for a bit, so we'll still be around to chat. Um, any questions that you would like for us to discuss? Just going to give that a second to, it's just taking a second to refresh. I think it's, I'm getting used to this technology a little bit. It's a new format for me, so pretty exciting. You guys will have to let me know what you think of this. If you, um, if, if you like this kind of idea with um, being able to talk about it like this, I think it's a lot of fun where you guys can leave comments. You know, we'll be, we'll, now that we figured out what my technical difficulty was, I won't have that technical difficulty next time. So, reading a comment here. Yes, the great comment from Rosa. I think it's challenging to reveal really traumatic things through first person narration because I feel like Cole especially wouldn't normally talk about things that hurt him. Absolutely. And I think that that's one thing that's really hard to manage as an author. And Reese says that really well because you know that Cole is broken physically. We, we get those clues where he talks about his scar tissue and that he has problems with his leg, but we don't really know why. And it takes a while for us to learn that this is, isn't just some random accident. This is actually a really horrifying event where he was attacked and his partner, his uh, life partner was murdered and that it was done by his work partner. It, it's really, um, you know, when you, you kind of learn those things, it's pretty amazing. Great comment, Rosa. I completely agree with you. 
It's going to give you guys a few more minutes and then we're going to announce the next book that we will be talking about in Dream Readers. We're going to do this on a monthly basis. Uh, we're going to do it on the second Monday of every month. Um, and we'll get these, uh, we'll do a new book each month for us to discuss and talk about and have a lot of fun with. Um, also lots of, lots of prizes and giveaways only for folks who come to the chat. So that's always a lot of fun. So let's see. I have a question here from Allison. Do you think Reese is going to write any more books in the Cole McGinnis series? Um, I think we, what do we have? Are we done or do we have one more? Can anyone answer that for me? It's going to wait for someone who knows who can answer that. Because I think that there's one more. But I don't want to promise that. I, if I'm wrong, I don't want anybody to... Kind of waiting to see, Allison, if someone knows the answer to that. I, I think that we have one more coming, but I'm not. I don't want to promise that in case I'm incorrect. So, okay, I'm not seeing any answering that for me. Allison, I will let you know the answer to that question. Uh, Allison wants to know if uh, Reese is going to write any more books in the Cole McGinnis series. I will find out and let you know. I Like I said, I do think that we've got one more on the way, but I don't want to promise that in case I am incorrect. So, so are you guys ready to find out what our next book will be for next month's Dream Readers? I'm really excited that we've had this. Um, this discussion tonight and I'm looking forward to uh, hosting them for you in the future. Um, again, I want to say, please shoot me some feedback over at poppy at dreamspinnerpress.com. Let me know what you think. If there's some things you'd like for us to try to do a little differently or things that you really loved, I'd really love to hear it. It'll help me know kind of how I can better host these events for you guys and make sure I have the information and the fun stuff that you guys want available. So, going to reveal the next book. I will also let you guys know, I'm very excited to announce, this book will be 75% off on the Dream Spinner website for 24 hours following this event. And we are very excited and going to hold it up now. Are you ready? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And here we go. The next book for next month is the first book in Charlie Cochette's third series, Hell and High Water. Oh, my lights are glaring off of that there. Sorry, guys. So next book, next book for next month, we'll be talking about Hell and High Water by Charlie Cochette. And it will be up for sale 75% off on the Dream Spinner website for uh, one day only, 24 hours from now. We'll, we'll have that on sale for you guys so you can grab it and read it and get ready for next book. Yes, Jules, I'm, I'm with you. I, I think we have one more, but I also do get the uh, Sinner's Gen series and the Dirty series. They get twisted up in my head sometimes. I hate to admit that, but I'm an avid fan of both, so I get them cute, confused. But yes, I think we have one more um, Dirty book, and then we also have Slow Ride, which is the next Sinner's book. So I think we have one more of each coming. Yes. Bobby's story was just released, yes. But Bobby does now have a book um, in the series. So very exciting. That one is Down and Dirty. So great book. So I have a question here from Janet. Let me grab that real quick before we go. Reese mixes the races so well in her books. Does anyone else get jealous of her worlds and the food? Absolutely. I know I do. What do you guys think? I the food in particular, and it's sort of, we have a running joke between Reese and I because Reese had to actually teach me how to cook fried rice because I was horrible at it. So now it's become this, this whole running joke because I ruined fried rice and she wasn't quite sure how, I, how that was possible and how I could do it. But yes, the, the food, it always makes me want to try new things. And I think that's, that's pretty amazing. I'm, I've never really tried, um, I've never really had Korean food. Um, and so uh, it was pretty exciting for me to be able to, to try some new things that I recognize 
you know, and when you see something on a menu and I think, hey, I read that in Reese's book, but wait, wasn't that the one that she said was really hot? Um, and I thought that, I think that's really great because it does encourage you to kind of try new things. So, okay, so I'm refreshing again here. <clears throat> Yes, Janet has said there is definitely one more, Allison. Oh, and Elizabeth has told me I have promises via email for from Reese for two more in the Cole McGinnis series. Absolutely. That's so exciting. I thought so, but I didn't want to promise and then have Reese hunt me down because she's uh, she, she'd get me if I told you guys wrong and then she had to write another book. <laughs> Yes, Jules, every time she posts a picture of her dinner, I'm super jealous. Absolutely. So, okay, guys, I'm going to um, turn the video portion of this off now. Thank you guys so much for joining us. I had an absolute blast hosting this for you. Sorry about those technical difficulties in the beginning, but uh, we'll hang out here for a while on the event page. So if you have any comments or want to just talk about the book a little more, happy to do that. We will hang around. And we will see you next month for Helen High Water by Charlie Cachette. Good night, everybody.